everybody on here. You can barely see me, can you? Well, it's nighttime, and here, let me get my Lucy light in my face. There, you can see me now. Oh, Francie just texted me. Uh, finding joy through serving. And she's camping, and she's camping, and I'm camping, and we're chatting. It's almost like we're camping together. Anyway, um, it's freezing dang cold in this van. It is like 34 degrees outside. It may be 1 degree warmer inside here but the good thing is i have plenty of blankets and i got my snuggle bunny here take a look all right here's my blankets this is a robe actually i just use it to throw over my comforter so that betty won't mess it up and this quilt i actually made myself out of old jammies old microfiber jammies just cut it into squares and um, let me see if I can show you the underneath side of it. It's not really finished. I haven't finished this yet, but I had to use it. Um, I need to put a border on it, but this is just a cheap blanket. And then the top is all these squares, and then I have the batting in the middle. Um, I need to go through and do something in the center. I might just pull yarn through and knot it. Um, Betty? Betty dog? She's over there. So oh, yeah, she's moving. You don't have to get out. I always make sure she's covered up with several layers of blankets as well. And so this is my van at night. It is so messy right now because I got a bunch of stuff just piled up over there. Oh, you wouldn't believe what happened. Right over in that area over there, um, I had a big canister of cocoa powder and the lid came off and it went all over the van. So I had to spend about 30 minutes. I mean, it was like floating in the air and whatnot. Oh man, it just made me so mad. Anyhow, um, oh, there's my toilet paper. <laughs> Gotta have that ready. My little porta potty's right there. Um, that tea that you see right there, or that big, uh, this thing right here, it is filled with the most wonderful, warmest, um, lemon tea that I made myself. Um, I grew the lemon balm myself and de uh, dried it and I made, um, well, I dehydrated lemon pills and I've got honey in it and oh my God, it's so good. So that's keeping me pretty warm. But this is what my van looks like at night. It's hard to see. I know. Oh, I did just kind of put a little bit more insulation up top. <laughs> Look at that duct tape. Little duct tape saves the world. Yeah, so we're staying warm. And honestly, I'm just trying to keep my spirits up. Um, with DoorDash, <laughs> I'm not getting a whole lot. But the good thing is, is I've done enough dashes now that I can see, I can get myself on the schedule actually in Jackson. And it seems to be more busy in Jackson than it is in Covington. I spent the last three days in Covington and didn't hardly get anything. I mean, I've made a total of 60 bucks. <laughs> So, and my lot fee is coming up at the end of the next week. So I, I need to make $140 more plus the money for gas. So wish me luck, guys. But I just wanted to kind of share with you uh, how things are. Oh, there she is again, Francie. I have a ton of lights. Yay. I need more lights. I need more lights. All I got is this Lucy light. Oh, you can't see it. It's this thing right here. It's solar. It charges in the, um, in the sun. Um, anyhow, uh that's all I've got to, that's all I've got to share with you um it just feels like camping out every single night it is cold so if you are thinking about getting into van life and you don't like the cold and you don't like the heat and you always have to be comfortable then maybe this isn't for you because I tell you what it gets cold it's going to get down to 20 I think like 24 degrees this morning you know like at, at around 5 a.m I think it's 34 right now it's pretty cold <sighs> You can see my breath. Well, you might not be able to see it, but I can see it. Yep, so this is how I go to bed. I um, have the stocking cap on. I have, I wonder if you can see this. Nope, you can't. <laughs> you're just going to have to, you're just going to have to believe me. I have mittens on. I have like little, um, you know, little gloves on, microfiber gloves on. I have three pairs of socks. I have um, a pair of like tight leggings on along with a, um, you know, some pajama bottoms, and I've got like three shirts, <laughs> three shirts on, and it's cold. Um, I lent somebody, I let Dawn, um, a country girl, borrow my um, 
propane buddy heater and the buddy heater is just too much for this van anyhow I mean I could leave it on for five minutes and it would be too hot and it puts too much moisture in this van so it's really not usable so I'm trying to think of another way to stay warm I mean I could use an electric blanket but that's gonna use a lot of energy um, anything that's gonna produce heat is gonna use a lot of energy so that's gonna be a real challenge but um, I don't know. I mean, my my inverter, I've got a 2,000 watt inverter, which is more than I need. I've also got a 700 watt inverter and like a 400 watt. So, I mean, peak 4,000 watts, you know, when you first turn the heater on. I mean, I've got plenty of inverter power. What I don't have a lot of is battery power. Um, my little 105 watt um, battery bank, <laughs> 335 watt, 30, 335 amp hour, 105 amp hour battery bank. Um, it's not going to last long if I'm turning on something that produces heat. So, I don't know. I didn't think it was going to get this cold in Tennessee, but it does. It gets freaking cold and it's going to get, oh God, like 13 degrees next Tuesday. Oh God. I mean, the coldest I've ever slept in this van has been 23 degrees and we were fine. We were fine, but just stepping it down to lower than that. Whew, that's going to be a challenge. It's going to make a uh, he woman out of me. Anyway, I just wanted to share this little, little uh, nighttime scenario with you. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell and y'all have a good one.